So today we're going to be teaching you how to make your very own little sock warrior. These are the supplies you'll need. Fluff, two socks, you'll need some thread if you're going to be doing some hand stitching to sew on the head, or you can, you can either have a little glass size like this, or you can do something similar to what we did with sewing on the eyes. First up, you'll take one of the socks and turn it inside out, and then you'll cut off the toe of the sock. Turn your sock over to put the heel in the center, and then you'll make a cut right here along the sock to give you your two legs and do that in the front and in the back. Now you have your front and back legs. With your second sock, you're gonna work on making the head. For the heel, make a cut. Turn it inside out. After you turn it inside out, to create the look of ears, you need to sew. Now you have the ear shape and you'll need to cut out around where you sewed, leaving a little bit of extra, and then you will turn it inside out and you'll have your ear shape. Look at that, so cute. With your excess bit of sock, you will now cut the tail for your little hobby. Now you've got a little piece that looks like this, and you're going to fold it over and sew along the side. Turn your tail inside out. All right, and then you have this tail piece. To finish up our body, we need to sew along here and also along here. So once you have the leg sewn, you need to cut a tiny hole in the top that will help you turn it inside out. So all your stitches will be hidden. Now is the time for stuffing. So you can stuff in through this hole to fill in the legs, and you can stuff the little head, make sure to get it in the ears, and also add a little bit of fluff to the tail to make it nice and fluffy. After you've got it stuffed, it's time to put on your little glass eye. Well, you can decide the placement of your eyes by placing two pins, and that might help you to get the right spacing that you want for your eyes. And then you'll put the little glass bead down, and then the little plastic card around the back, and that will attach on the eyes. After placing the eyes, you need to gather up the bottom of the head to close it off. Once you've got it drawn together, kind of like a little potato sack, you're going to put it into the hole that you created to cut, to turn this inside out, and then you're going to make some stitches along the bottom to attach it to the body. And make some stitches around the back to attach the tail. Now all you have to do is add your other little face details like a nose and mouth and whiskers, and you've got yourself a little sock warrior. Have a nice cookie right here. So if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to leave a comment down below, and tell me if you plan on making your own, but if you don't have the time resources to make your own, you can always order one from us. We'd greatly appreciate your support. Oh yeah, these are all the ones we've made before. Aren't they so cute? So be sure to check out the Etsy listing if you'd like to order some of these cute little sock warriors. My cats certainly like them. So thank you so much for watching this story, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye-bye.